first you want to start out with pre-measuring your ingredients. When you're making the salad, you can get caught up in all the measurements and potentially put in the wrong measurement of any given ingredient. So start off by measuring your solid ingredients before you mix in the salad. You also want to put your solid ingredients into these small finger dishes or any one that may be laying around your house. While measuring these ingredients, we want to use measuring cups. So the first step is to pre-measure out a half a cup of sugar into a small finger dish. I already have this set to half a cup, so it's nice and easy to measure out. You want to make sure too that any sugar granules that aren't chopped up are, so they're not in chunks for our salad. Alright, that is measured, and we have that in the one finger bowl, we can set that aside. Next we're going to need one cup of sunflower seeds. We have a cup pre-measured out here, and for this you can give or take a few sunflower seeds. Some people might like more, some people might like less, it's all about taste, but I prefer a heaping cup. Alright, now that we have that measured out, we'll put that into the finger bowl. full finger bowl and set that aside for later. And finally, the last of our dry ingredients, we're going to want one cup of cashews. And you can use full cashews if you'd like, but cashew halves and pieces work better. If you can't find them, you can crush your own cashews at home. That little bit right there will make a pretty perfect cup. So now we have all our dry ingredients measured out and all of these should be mixed into separate bowls. Once all of those ingredients are measured, then we're going to take a moment for my favorite part, to crush up two packets of ramen noodles. And the noodles should be relatively small pieces, but not crushed into a powder. Now the easiest way to crush the noodles is inside the bag itself because any other way it becomes a little more difficult to try and crush them without spilling them all over the place. So, uh, to crush them while they're still in the bag. Oh, I'm doing this right, right? Yeah. Okay. Yep, you just make sure you use the palm of your hand to crush these. It's real simple. Make sure you don't put too much pressure on it because you can possibly pop open the bag and have a huge mess on the counter. Alright, well, fun fact while crushing the noodles. Uh, did you know that ramen noodle squares contain only eight long strands of noodles instead of like a bunch of little tiny ones? I actually did not. Yeah, most people think that it's a lot of little noodles put together, but it's actually not. There are only eight strands, well, on average, eight strands of noodles inside one package of ramen noodles. Wasn't that a fun fact while cooking? Well, alright. Alright, that sounds good. Now, once the noodles are crushed, we will just leave them here in the bags and save ourselves one dish so that we don't have to clean it when we're done. We'll set these aside over here. Next, we're going to start to put all of our liquid ingredients into a large mixing bowl. Our liquid ingre ingredients can be measured out by a liquid measuring cup. The easiest way to do it is we'll start by measuring out one cup of vegetable or canola oil into a large mixing bowl. Now you can use vegetable or canola oil, it's all on your preference. Both of them are relatively healthy, but in this we're going to use canola oil. All right, one cup. There we go. All right, and now that we have that into the bowl, we're going to measure out one third cup of cider vinegar. Now for this, we're actually going to use a solid measuring cup because sometimes oil and vinegar have a little funny relationship with one another. So we're going to make sure we don't have that happen. Alright, so in here. Mm -hmm. We're going to open up our cider vinegar and pour it in this convenient cup. Perfect. See, so I like these ones because then you don't have to You don't have to eye it up. Alright, how's that look? That looks good. And we can put that in the same bowl with our oil. Perfect. And finally, we're going to place a half a cup of sugar that is already pre-measured out into this fabulous finger bowl into the mixing bowl with the oil and vinegar. Alright, All 
All right, that's a perfect mixture. Once all the ingredients are in the bowl, we're going to use a wooden spoon to stir the mixture. All right, can I have a wooden spoon? Absolutely, thank you very much. All right, how's a thing of a starting? I think it's so far. Yeah, it looks good, but be sure while you're stirring to scrape the bottom of the mixing bowl to make sure you pick up all of the sugar and it is distributed equally throughout the liquid. Just to make sure nothing's sticking on the bottom. A rubber scraper works best for getting the sugar off the bottom of the bowl. And that looks pretty good. And once mixed, set the bowl aside as we'll be using it quickly. All right, now in our next large mixing bowl, we're gonna start mixing our solid ingredients. So first we're gonna take our one bag of coleslaw and pour it into the mixing bowl. After that, we're going to take the one cup of pre-measured sunflower seeds and put them into the same bowl as the coleslaw. All right, see how easy this is that they're all pre-measured out? I like that. That makes, you know, makes it nice. Now you're going to pour your one cup of cashews into the same bowl as their last two ingredients. All right, dump those in there. And finally, you're going to take your two pre-crushed packets of ramen noodles, which we set aside earlier after we crushed them, and put them into the coleslaw, seed, and cashew mixture, as well as, after you get those noodles in there, Oh, they look cool crushed. All right, as soon as she gets the noodles in there, after that, we're gonna put in both packets of the beef flavoring into the mix. And now, there we go. Now sometimes you have to wiggle these around a little bit because some oh, yeah. of it gets stuck in the bottom. Okay, I'll put this one. Oh, no, you already did, look at that. All right, just oh, yeah. pour that one in there, perfect. All right, now that we have two large mixing bowls, the last step is to pour our pre-prepared liquid mixture from earlier over the solid coleslaw mix. And once you pour that in, so why don't you go ahead and... All right. Be careful of with pouring this. We want to make sure we do it over the bowl so all of it goes in and we don't want to have a mess on our counter. Now all of our dressing is in there. All right, now once you pour it over that, you're going to take your large wooden spoon from before and mix up the salad thoroughly. And for optimal results, you're going to want to allow this salad, once you're done mixing it, to refrigerate for about an hour. Now when you're mixing it, it might seem like you don't have enough dressing, but once you get it all mixed, you'll realize there really is enough. But from the get-go, you can think that your salad is a little dry. So, so I shouldn't worry if it looks... Yeah. Okay. No, not at all. That looks pretty cool, actually. Yeah, it definitely adds some color to it. We got some healthy of the seeds. And then anything you didn't crush from earlier, you can make sure you crush it with the spoon. Yep. Yeah. And it'll work out just fine. Alright. And after it's done, that's what we have. Very cool. Now, for extra color, texture, or anything else that you'd like, you can take other vegetables and add them in to your, if it's your choice. Uh, we recommend diced red, yellow, or green peppers, uh, or celery or onion if you'd like, depending on what you like to eat. And these are only recommendations though, because if you'd like extra color and you'd like to impress your guests so that they fall in love with this dish at first sight. Now coming up after the break, we'll learn how to display our ramen noodle salad and plate it for optimum appeal. Gannon University prepares you to take the right steps from the campus to your career. Practical, hands-on experience in and out of the classroom and small class sizes give you the personal attention you need to help you gain the knowledge and skills that will illuminate your path to success. Gannon University. Believe in the possibilities. Watch Kelly's story at gannon.edu. Um, Real situations. Real technology. Expert instruction. The Simulation Center at Gannon University. When this becomes a real emergency in the field or in the ER, these students will be powerfully trained and ready. For more information on the Gannon Health Professions, log on to gannon.edu. Gannon University. Believe in the possibilities.